Markets and elections. Is there Thank any you, kind of connection? A recent survey conducted by UBS showing 30% of more than 2,000 high net worth individuals have already pulled their money out of the market as we get closer to the election. But can emotions get in the way of smart investing? Here now to react is Jason Rotman of Lido Isle Advisors and Scott Martin of Kingview Asset Management and a Fox News contributor. Scott, a lot of investors have been burned. Uh, by voting the markets, vo voting stocks the same way they vote their ballots, is this going to happen again? Uh, David, it might. Now, the rhetoric out these days is, I think, maybe Hillary is a better friend of Wall Street. Donald Trump maybe a little more uncertain, but maybe even that, better Scott? for business down the road. I, David, you know what I think? I, I think Trump is better longer term, truthfully, for the markets and economy. But I think short term, the market's going to react better to a Clinton presidency. So I think you have two things at work here. I do think, though, if you're playing at home and you're thinking about investing maybe in the, the months after the election goes by, I would wait until after the okay. election, maybe the day or two or a week after, to get your stock bids Jason, in. Jason, what about that? Before you make any kind of move, selling stocks or buying, you wait until after the election. I think the current environment is, is honestly much, much bigger than the election. It's much bigger than politics. Because what has driven the market since 2009, it's been the Fed. The Fed. Everything comes yep. back to the Fed. It's and true. the Fed will raise interest rates or else they just risk losing all of their credibility, not even 99 percent, but all of it. So the fact that the Fed's going to raise rates, the economy slowing, earnings are declining. Yeah. That's that's the stagnant market recipe there. Well, Scott, we, don't, we never want to time markets. That's that's a losing uh, strategy. But the fact is, is that the last time the Fed raised just a little bit, the market went down 10 percent. The Fed is probably going to raise a little bit in December. Should we wait till after that happens? You could. I mean, you may have a buying opportunity again like you had in January and February of earlier this year. And I think Jason brings up an interesting point. Don't forget, guys, Donald Trump, if he gets in, one of his first orders of business was to hack Janet Yellen and some of the other uh, things that she's doing along with it, which includes raising rates. So just remember that if he gets in, you may have a new Fed chairwoman or chairman in, in, in January and forward. So you think about interest rates as it looks how it uh, pertains to the stock market. That may be a better environment for, for stocks going forward in 2017. All right, restaurants getting a one-two punch by overexpansion in grocery store prices, now at their cheapest relative to restaurants, that is, since the 80s. Many chains like Bob Evans and Ruby Tuesdays are now closing locations, and other big names may follow suit. Scott, let me ask you, I mean, is this about overexpansion in food prices or just bad concepts? It's bad concepts, Melissa, but it's also overexpansion, like you mentioned. I mean, a lot of these grocers have had some trouble lately, and I think when you look at competitors, you look at Amazon, you know, getting into the grocery business as well. I mean, those are areas where consumers are putting a lot of their dollars not in the traditional spaces. Yeah. Jason, I mean, you even see things like Blue Apron, you know, where they advertise like crazy. They send you all the ingredients, including the food and the spices or whatever, to make a healthier meal at home. Maybe this has to do with the idea of people trying to eat in a more healthy way or know what's in their food and not want Wanting to go to sort of, you know, a, a packaged concept. Okay, so for me, healthy check, uh, knowing your ingredients check, having food flown across the country to me in a box so I can eat it, no check. Uh, X, I don't like that idea. But to keep it short and sweet, I think the main reason for this whole restaurant decline. One reason that nobody's talking about is the is the constant increase in rents. Okay. People are paying a lot more money just to keep a roof under their head. They're going just to restaurants hang on one less. Second. We've got Netflix coming out. David, go ahead. All right. Netflix is out with a third quarter result. Cheryl Cassoni has the result. Cheryl, what does we it say? Ha we have some of it right now. First, I want to go to the revenue because there was a slight beat on the revenue. $2.29 billion on the revenue. The estimate was two point two eight. So that is in line. The question mark right now is the earnings per share. We're waiting on the adjusted numbers. Now, the earnings per share was for six cents. Well, we need that actual adjusted number. Also, we're looking and still waiting as the headlines are crossing right now on the subscriber growth and the churn rates for the company. Uh, remember, we're expecting 2.3 net subs right now. We're trying to, to kind of go through and, and pull the numbers right now. And we're also watching the bid ask on the stock right there, as you can see right now. But again, we're just getting in that revenue, a slight gain, but that's really not great, guys. They really needed to see a stronger side on the revenue issue, and we're not getting that. There's a lot of concern about this number. Remember that Netflix, they're in 50 percent of U.S. homes. The U.S. is the problem, according to analysts, guys. And at this point, because of those price increases, which are not just coming in from the last quarter, but really kicking in in this quarter, we don't expect this to be a very solid growth. But again, we're looking for that actual earnings per share number. And as soon as we have it, we'll, we'll jump back in with you guys. Cheryl, thank you so much. 2.3 million net subscribers. Um, thank you so much. We're, we're gonna, she's going to keep diving through the report and bringing us more as it comes. Jason, 
Um, give me your reaction to that. The big problem with Netflix right now, they have that slowing subscriber growth in the U.S., so they're spending a ton of money on new content, on expansion overseas. What's your net if their revenue, as we heard so far, coming in basically in line just slightly above? Well, I think a lot of their best growth is behind them. And whenever you get in that situation, it's not a pretty picture for their stock. Netflix is, is obviously plus or minus. They're at around 100. I, I can almost guarantee they're going to drop 15% in the next six months to 85. And then people may still consider buying it, but not at these levels. I don't think Netflix is a buy right here. Scott, what do you think? Well, the stock is called uh, pretty higher after hours, Melissa. I think the sub numbers are okay, actually. I mean, I think a lot of the whispers I heard were that subs uh, growth was going to be even worse than it was. Uh, some of the analysts, Melissa, you're right, have talked about the decreasing uh, growth in the U.S. as being a major concern. I look at international as another area where Netflix is growing. I don't know how their movie is going to end pertains to how basically okay. what the subscriber growth looks like in Europe, but it looks pretty good. Well, wait, Scott, what subscriber growth number did you see? We were shooting for 2.3 million. I don't think we've seen the number come Melissa, through yet. Did you see it? No, you know, but I'm telling you, no, I think I, I saw it when I looked down. It was over. I think it looked like it was just over two million. But I'll tell you okay. what, there also were whispers that it was going to be in the million range. And I think that's why the stock has dropped off. Basically why Jason A was talking okay. about dropping 85. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to come back to that when we have more details coming on it, David.